New Alchemy, Rule 1 Final. of oil. Oil powers our lives, drives our machines, moves our goods, brings us light and warmth. Oil is the heartbeat of our world. But oil is also reshaping our lives through a new industry, an industry which reshapes oil itself. marine life deposited on the beds of ancient seas millions of years ago contains the elements carbon and hydrogen. By manipulating them, by subjecting them to extremes of temperature and pressure, we create new substances, feedstocks for the mass manufacture of a vast variety of products which improve our living standards and enhance the quality of life. Giant furnaces, compressors, reactors, and fractionating columns crack and reform the oil's molecules, turning them into new liquids, gases, powders, granules. Day and night, deep within each plant, they monitor, adjust, control. They read the walls as we read a book, or a musician reads a score. They are the new alchemists, the modern sorcerers. For this is an Aladdin's cave, and these its treasures. Ethanol, acrylonitrile, acetone, methanol, cumin, isopropanol, styrene polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, polyethylene, polypropylene, and many more. Rigid X polyethylene granules fed under pressure are transformed into a familiar plastic film. The same granules can be extruded as a viscous, translucent fluid. Butadiene and acrylonitrile processed and poured into an extruder emerge as a synthetic rubber.
and so in many different forms, the precious elixirs leave for other places, where other alchemy will transform them into the stuff from which our lives are made. Our homes, our clothes, our cars, our dreams. In factories throughout the world, our dreams are becoming realities. By the magic of chemistry, threads as fine as silk, once reserved for the rich alone, are now available to us all. Nylon, Cortel, Perilene, Acrylan, Dacron, Orlon, Perlon, and many others. Man-made fibers can be knitted or woven as easily as silk, cotton, or wool. They've reduced the need for vast areas of land the world over, for rearing sheep and growing cotton. But petrochemicals are not mere substitutes. They are often far superior to traditional materials. Many are completely new, highly desirable in their own right. Subtle colors have been brought into our lives by petrochemical-based dyes, giving fabric designers greater freedom to create for a myriad different styles and tastes. Fabrics and carpets are more durable and easier to clean than ever before. And so are wallpapers and floor coverings. Today, almost all the clothes we wear contain petrochemical fibers. Natural fibers alone could not possibly meet our needs. Even the most everyday things need no longer be drab and uninteresting just because they're reasonably priced. And you can take it back if you don't like yeah. it yourself in it, which I, I wonder... Where women pioneered, men follow. The man in the street is far better dressed than his father or grandfather. You like the colour? Yes, I think. What do you think? Something different, isn't it? Very Not only necessities, but luxuries too. Furs for everyone. And frills as well. Elegance is now within the reach of all. To own a car was also once a luxury for the few. Now they're part of most people's lives. Production in their millions has only been made possible by petrochemicals. 
quick-drying, hard-wearing, vinyl acrylic paint. Vinyl roofs and trim. Polypropylene fans and components. Butyl rubber underseat. Seats, polyurethane. Carpets, polyacrylonitrile. Fascia, phenol formaldehyde. Butadiene polymers for tires. More durable, more reliable. Such man-made materials meet demands of quality and quantity that natural rubber could never satisfy. Plastics, molded and blown, extruded and pressed, unending possibilities of shape and color, lighter, brighter products for industry and the home. Remember chipped enamel bowls, cracked earthenware jugs, rusty wire strainers, heavy metal trays and iron pans? Remember leaking drain pipes, ill-fitting joints, iron guttering, shabby and in need of paint? Those days are gone forever. Part of perfumery is as old as ancient China. Blends of attar of roses, musk, patchouli, civet, spices. A chemical spirit, ethyl alcohol, gives modern perfumes the assurance of lasting fragrance. May I try one of these, please? Eau de toilette or the perfume? Uh, the eau de toilette. You think this size would be? Yes, I think What price is it? Cosmetics, too, depend on petrochemicals for texture and plasticity. Plastics have revolutionized modern design. Long-playing records owe their existence to polyvinyl chloride. Television and radio. Cassette players and cassettes all opening the door to a richer world of music and entertainment. Our children are born into a bright new life. New materials give new substance to age-old fantasies. New style games for grown-ups too. Sports equipment and the clothes to go with it are stronger and lighter, keeping warmth in and weather out. Some sports could never have been invented without petrochemicals. Others have been brought within the reach of a far wider public.
Our modern world depends on communications. Polyvinyl chloride insulates the wires that weave a web, bringing people and nations together. Polyethylene protects deep sea cables from the relentless attack of the ocean. New packaging materials have revolutionized food retailing. Traditional packaging required vast areas of forest to provide paper and cardboard an extravagant use of natural resources. Today, our food is better protected and preserved, and we enjoy a wider choice and a fuller, fresher, and more varied diet. To grow more and better food, our chemists have given us pesticides and fungicides. They have created fertilizers to enrich our soil. protection for crops, and protection for the air we breathe. Society must strike a balance between its material demands and its desire for a better environment. The petrochemical industry has always taken a lead in protecting our environment. It is a young industry which prides itself on its social conscience. In the neighborhood of every factory, Air samples are regularly collected for detailed analysis. Microphones continually monitor noise intensity, which is recorded and checked. Three miles out to sea from a coastal factory, scientists maintain constant checks on the water. Samples are taken from close to the seabed. Further samples are taken near the surface. The effects on marine life are studied. Petrochemicals in modern medicine have transformed our lives. We enjoy a standard of health never dreamed of by our ancestors. Most of our preventive and curative drugs have petrochemical ingredients. Antibiotic capsules and serums contain petrochemical solvents. In surgery, petrochemicals are indispensable. The majority of our equipment is made of rigid or flexible plastics. So are most of the replacement parts fitted into patients' bodies. An elderly man gets new mobility with a plastic kneecap. The petrochemical revolution in Europe is only 25 years old the age of this young mother. As her baby boy grows up, what will the next 25 years bring in further improvements to his surroundings and his physical well-being? Will he go to the moon? Run a three-minute mile? What will his home be like? What will he wear, eat and drink?
and drive about it in 25 years' time. What new wonders will the alchemists of the petrochemical industry create to enrich life in the 21st century?